Welcome to Inside the Industry TV. I'm your host Chandler Renard and today we're going inside with the original dance career convention, ATLA Takeover. Now this weekend consists of three days, 10 dance classes, seminars, cypher battles, auditions, network opportunities, prizes, scholarships, and much more. The first industry driven convention featuring A-list celebrity choreographers and top industry professionals focused on the advancement of having a successful dance career. If it makes you cry or if it makes you feel like, do it. God wants you to come from the other side. Now their mission is to teach, inspire, and uplift. Their goal is to feed your craft. And their motto is to take over your dreams. Now their dream is for you to unlock yours. So we're gonna step inside and see what it's all about. This is our fifth year anniversary here in Atlanta. We are at the Ramada Plaza, Atlanta downtown on Capitol Avenue. We are super, super excited. One, two, three, and four. We have an incredible, incredible coalition of choreographers. We're on day two. Day three is tomorrow, and we have a celebrity all-star panel coming in. It's just an amazing weekend of just networking and growing and dancers here in Atlanta get the opportunity yeah, to just be seen and really take their careers to the next level. So Sakina and I pride ourselves on being passionate and being purpose driven and just allowing us to just, you know, have this platform for all these dancers to just kind of grow. When Kiki and I came together, we just said, you know what, let's put together a program where it's not just about convention and taking class, but it's also about the seminars you get to have a long career. So the financial part, the auditioning, your look, all of those things um, are things that we try to incorporate into this situation. Stomach and pull and hit. So you wanna hit you to then throw. You're stepping on your right high bit, lighting your waist. I'm giving y'all a chance to just give me whatever you got. <clears throat> like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. It could be booty. Like, it could be whatever. I want to see personality through it and then come back. And then keep in mind that eight, when y'all come back alive, I said a doo doo It's just kind of cocky, like, check out my campaign, 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 campaign. <laughs> campaign, campaign, you know what I'm saying? Your social media should reflect that. 
If you want to have something else, have it privatized and have that for your friends and your family who know that side of you, but the industry doesn't want to see that side of you. We want people that we like, we trust, and can go on the road with for a long period of time. The morning sweat and training to the left of battle. Mm -hmm. And you can apply that to pretty much everything in life, to be able to especially dance. Because we get into rehearsals a lot of times, and um, just classes even, or just even in our room, and we try to be perfect. Or we want to match someone perfect with you. But getting to know yourself and being very knowledgeable about oneself is so important. You don't have to match anybody, you don't have to do the most, just be yourself. And take those moments to fall, to cry, to mess up, because it's the studio, that's where you're supposed to do those things. Um, and these days, like oftentimes we feel like it's an audition. When I don't want to say that it can't be, because it can be. You never know who's watching, you always want to be important, and I know that you want to be your best self, you want to represent yourself in your best life. But don't be afraid to mess up, because it's not always the most perfect dancer or the most talented or the, you know, like technically the quote unquote best dancer in the history of us. It's who wants to work with you, it's who enjoys your energy, who your energy lines up with. So, if it makes you cry or if it makes you feel like, do it. It's God wants to on the other side. Amen. Amen. Well, at ATLA, we really stress the financial importance um, or just the importance of your finances. And one of the things is saving. You know, a lot of times you go from making no money to making quite a bit of money in a small amount of time. And it can give you a false sense of reality, you know, where you're making what someone makes in a month, you're making in a week but then you may not work for six months. And so you've got to stretch that out and you have to be smart about that. And you have to, when you are making money, invest your money in areas that make sense for you. And that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, well now I have to go do stocks and bonds and all that. But if you're gonna take, if you're gonna change your hair, then you gotta think, I can't just pay for a haircut. I have to think about changing my hair, changing my pictures, changing my comp card, getting new business cards, changing the pictures on the website like it's gotta you gotta do an overhaul of everything you don't have the luxury of just changing your hair so you have to invest in those things you have to invest in the right attire you have to invest in the right classes and so the financial portion is about understanding how to stretch your money one live and then two put back into your business essentially you are a walking product so just like a big company has to pay for changing their logo you have to also you're you are your logo you are your brand and so the financial part is just being smart about where you're putting your money not just spending frivolously because it looks like a large amount in a small amount of time welcome to atla entertainment studios your dream awaits atla entertainment studio services studio rental film television commercial rental, black box rental, artist development, privates, music video production, tour rehearsal space, live stage, performance showcase, multimedia production, dance conventions, dance team clinics and camps, movement coach for actors, white side wall, photo shoots, videography workshops, and master classes. Welcome to ATLA Entertainment Studios. Your dream awaits. Well, Kiki and I have always put the dancers first. Um, because we've done it, we get what it takes to have to invest in yourself. And so one thing that we do is we offer deals. You know, we're constantly, from the very beginning, we're constantly offering it at a price that's affordable um, for what you're getting. And so I would say for a dancer to make sure you're following all of the social media outlets that let you know, give you know, that have awareness about what's going on in the community. Um, I know with ATLA, every year we do an early, early bird special for $100. And I would, if I were me, if that were me, I would take advantage of the hundred dollars. I would try to save twenty-five dollars a week for four weeks, and then pay the hundred dollars. Like I, I know, okay, this is the date I would set my my money four weeks ahead and save the hundred and pay the hundred ahead of time. Good luck. 
And when you see what ATLA has to offer, I promise you that $100, nothing. 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 If you think about what you do with $100, um, you know, or the frivolous stuff that you buy, you know, that extra snack you don't need when you're at the grocery store, that other bottle of alcohol that you ain't even supposed to be having, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, you, you get gel nails instead of just regular polish because that's your thing. You know, it's like just save a little bit. Polish your own nails so you can go to ATLA and get the knowledge that you need. So, um, I would say take advantage of the deals. Take advantage of, you know, all, like Hollywood gives a scholarship every year and people have to submit to that for um, on social media. So submit, try to figure out ways to get the cost down. And, um, you know, so that's what I suggest. If it were me, that's what I would do. My favorite quotes is, what got you here won't get you here, okay? And so what we have to do on any given day, at any age, is we have to assess where we're at today, okay? And then a month from now, assess where we progressed in that 30-day period and have the goals for the next six months. And like Kimmy was talking about in her, with her experience, knowing she moved to Atlanta, knowing she wanted to work for Beyonce, having clear-cut goals that are far-reaching because we can't get there without knowing what, where you want to go, or else you'll get led a lot of different places in this industry. But definitely, you're going to have to, hopefully, when you leave this room today, make some changes based upon something that you heard in this room or throughout the course of this weekend, because what got you here won't get you there. You guys should already have identified who are the key players in your industry. You guys should have identified who is the people that are looking that can put money in your pockets, who's the people who can elevate your career? And you should start targeting those people like we talked about earlier, correct? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> all the social media outlets. Uh, and we'll be planning our 2017, same time this year in Atlanta. So that'll be our sixth annual. As you've just heard, their hard work, persistence, and dedication to their craft has brought each of these individuals a career which has left footprints in the dance industry. And history confirms each of these professionals has a body of work that speaks volumes. They each epitomize what the vision of ATLA is and has helped bridge the gap of dancers in Atlanta and Los Angeles. Who got the juice? Are you saucy? Get real results. Now be on the lookout for all things ATLA by following the journey at ATLA Takeover and ATLAEntertainmentStudios.com. This is Inside the Industry TV.